Tell us, I'm going to be fucking honest with you here. And I want you to ask yourself something. You know my history. You know what the fuck I've been through. You know what I've dealt with. And you know or not, I'm going to ask you this. Do you really love and care about me like you say you do? Do you truly love and care about me like you say you do, Taylor? I want to know. The reason why I question that is for this very reason that I'm about to say right now. Because if you truly loved and cared about me, you wouldn't make me get on panel and defend you day in and day out, day in and day out, day in and day out. Calling out this person, calling out that person, knowing what the fuck I've been through. You know what I've been through. You've seen what I've dealt with. You know what the fuck I've dealt with. And I understand I've made mistakes. I've fucked up. I've cheated on you. I've hurt you. And I understand that. And make no mistake, I am genuinely, genuinely sorry about all that. Whether you believe me or not, I am sorry about all that. But Taylor, you gotta understand, I have been through more hell than you could ever fucking imagine. For the past seven years, I have been lied to. I have been used. I have been tormented. And yes, I've lied to you a few times. And you want to know why I did that to you, Taylor? One, I tried to protect you from the trolls. I tried to protect you. That's why I lied to you. Because I wanted to fucking protect you. Because I actually give a shit about you. That's why I fucking lied to you. Because I figured maybe if I fucking lied to you. Then you wouldn't go after these goddamn trolls. And I could push them off. So that you could be happy. With the boys. So you could be happy with me for once. You know, Taylor, I don't get you. I don't. You say you love me. But you need to ask yourself. Would somebody who loves somebody else sit there and make them go up on panel? Knowing what they've been through. Knowing the hell that those people put them through. Knowing how their life has been torn apart by those very people that you're wanting them up on panel with. If you loved someone, why would you sit there and constantly bring up what they did wrong? You know, you say you want me to do better. You say you want me to do better. But yet yeah, you sit there and you constantly bring up what I did wrong. Which makes it hard for me to do better. It makes it harder for me to do anything. If anything, it makes me depressed and not want to do anything because I feel so fucking bad about what the fuck I did. I mean, Taylor, because of me being on panel, you saw what I did the other night. I came this close from ending my fucking life on panel. This fucking close. Taylor, you need to understand something. I'm only human. And if you want to blame somebody for me being the way that I am, blame all the trolls. Blame all my exes. 
They made me this way. I never wanted to be a liar. I never wanted to be a cheater. I never wanted to hurt you. But you have to understand, I have been through so much fucking hell. That my one biggest fear has always been losing you. The entire time, I have been afraid of losing you. Losing you scares me to fucking death. I want to be better for you. I want to be better for the boys. I want to be better for myself and my family. But how am I supposed to do that if I'm constantly on panel fighting and bitching and arguing and yelling and screaming? How am I supposed to be better if what I did wrong is constantly being brought up and no one's letting me move on and to do better? I understand that I fucked up Taylor, but you need to understand something right now. Making mistakes is a part of human nature. Humans make mistakes. We fuck up all the time. No one on this earth is perfect. Nobody on this earth is perfect. And say, well, you need to take into consideration what I've been through, what I've dealt with. Because of these trolls, I now deal with PTSD. I now deal with depression and anxiety every fucking day of the week. Every day is a constant struggle just for me to get up. Every day it's a struggle for me to get up. Every fucking day. Every day I wonder and wonder. When is this shit going to end? When am I going to be free from everything? When am I going to have my old life back? When am I going to have the life back that the trolls stole away from me? You know, Taylor, you think I'm not trying, but I actually am. Even though it might not look like it, I really am trying for you. I'm trying for... Ollie, I'm trying for Isaac, I'm trying for my family, my friends, for myself. I understand that it ain't easy. I get that. And I get that I lied to you. And you want answers as to why I lied to you. Well, let me tell you why I lied to you, Taylor. It wasn't to hurt you. It was to fucking protect you. To protect you from the fucking trolls. And what they do. You gotta figure maybe if I lied to you. And told you everything was good. That you wouldn't go fucking looking on their shit like you told me that you wouldn't do. I figure maybe I could protect you by fucking lying to you. I had a reason, and it was a damn good one, because I wanted to protect you from what they were fucking doing. I wanted to protect you. I tried to protect you. Every day I try to protect you. But yeah, what do you do? You constantly go, go up and look at their streams, look at their shit and what they do. I understand that you don't like what they do. I get that. And you say you want out of this shit, right? You say you want nothing to do with them. And that you want a life with me and you and the boys. If you want that, then stop getting on panel with them. Stop making me get on panel. Stop making me respond to these people. You know, you say you want me to do better, but yet... Me going up on panel don't do you any good. It don't do me any good. And if anything, it causes you stress and it causes me stress. Like I said, Taylor, I understand how fucked up I am right now. I get it. 
I know I did bad shit. But Taylor, you need to fucking understand something. There are going to be times where I fuck up and make mistakes. But you can't hold them against me, especially with what the fuck I've been through. You need to understand that I've been through so much hell. I've been through so much fucking hell and then lied to so much myself that I still don't know who's real and who's not. There are very few people that I have trust for. And one of those few people that I have trust for is you. Because you came to me at my lowest point in my life and you pulled me out of that dark place. So my question is this. My question to you, Taylor, is this. Why do you constantly bring up what I did? Why do you constantly bring it up? Because I want to do better. I do. I want to be better for you. I want to be better for your, for our kids. I want to be better for my family, my friends, and myself. But us going on panel and fighting Thump and fighting Marty and fighting William, that don't do anybody any good. It only makes it worse for you and for me. I mean, look at you, Taylor. You ended up in the hospital two different times. Two different times. And you want to know what separates me from them? I stand on what I did wrong. And I try to make things right. I understand that I fucked up. I understand that I've done shit that hurts you. And I apologize for that 100%. I am sorry for that. But what am I supposed to do, Taylor? I'm only human. Because of what I've been through, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to fuck up every now and then. Do I mean to? No. It's because of my past and what I've been through that I keep fucking up. Even though I don't fucking want to. I don't understand why I fuck up like I do. I don't understand it myself. I wish I did. All I know, Taylor, is that I want to be better for you. I want to be better for Ollie, for Isaac, for all of us. And the only way I can do that is with your help. And the biggest way you can help me is by not going on their panels anymore. Not fighting Thump. Calling the police on him and doing whatever you got to do to get his ass arrested and locked up for the rest of his life. The way you can help is by ignoring the trolls for good. That means no watching their streams. That means no going on panels. That means not responding to them. Like I said, Taylor, I want to do better for you. I do. You think I like living like this? No. I want to be better for you. I understand that I fucked up quite a bit, and I'm sorry about that. But Taylor, you need to work with me. Instead of being angry with me, work with me. Because I don't want to be a cheater anymore. I don't want to be a liar anymore. I want your help. After today, I am done with the fucking lies. I am done with the cheating. I am sick of it. I want to be better for you. I do. I want to be better for you. For our family. Our friends.
I really do love you, Taylor. I do. So please, Taylor, will you help me to do better? Let's come up with a solid plan to get me away from this shit for good. For me and for you. Because I want to be the man that you know I could be. I want to be that person for you. And I need your help to do it. Forget about everything that the trolls are going to say or try to do. Okay, after today, forget about that shit. Help me to be better. Help me to do better. Because I want to be better for you, Taylor. I do. I don't want to be that person that made you mad last night. I don't want to be that person that made you angry. I don't want to be that person that hurts you anymore. I want to be that person that you can count on. I want to be that person that you can fall in love with and be with for the rest of your life. So Taylor, I am asking you to please fucking help me. Help me to be better for you. Because I don't want to live a life of lies and cheating. I don't want that. And as for you motherfucking trolls, you guys need to fuck off and stop sending fake fucking people to my shit. Pretending to be real. Pretending to be legitimate. I am sick of it and I don't fucking need it. So you trolls need to fuck off and go the fuck somewhere else. Leave me and Taylor and my friends the fuck alone. Leave us alone, dude. Mind your own goddamn business. Because our lives are not your motherfucking business, you stupid little bitches. Our lives are not your business. So stay out of my life and out of Taylor's life for good. And thump, that includes you too, you piece of shit motherfucker. Stay the fuck away from Taylor. I am done with this shit. I want to live my life as a good fucking person. I don't want to live a life of lies. I don't want to live a life of hurting anymore. I don't want to live a life of cheating anymore. I am done with that shit. Over. Gone. Done. I want to be better. And I can tell you right now that as of tonight, I will be removing every fake ass fucking person out of my shit that I find. If I find out you're fake, I don't care if you're a friend or not. If I find out you've been a fake and a troll this whole time, your ass is gone. Out of my friends list. Out of my life. For good. I don't give a fuck. I don't need fake people. I need real ass people that have gotten my back that want me to do better. And Taylor, I want you to know that I love you. And with your help, I know I can be that person again, but I need your help to do it. So Taylor, will you fucking help me? Will you help me to be the person that you know I can be? Please, Taylor, I need your help. I want to be the man that you can rely on, that you can trust. I want to be that person again so bad I want to be that person. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the cheating. I don't want to do that anymore. 
I don't want that life anymore. So please, Taylor, I am begging you. Will you help me? Will you help me to be better? Please.